Hey, it's Teacher Jeff. I'm gonna go through four other sensory apps that I really like. These encourage looking behavior, reaching behavior, and you can experiment with moving the iPad in different parts of the visual field to see which works best. And most of these are simple cause and effect activities. The first one is called Lightbox, and it is similar to the APH Lightbox we use in class. Um, it has a checkerboard overlay that's similar to that, that is really high contrast and has some other activities that goes along with that we'll go through. The next one is called Cosmic Spinner, and that's just a cause and effect activity touching the screen changes the color and you can control the spinner in various ways. The next two um, are similar to that, cause and effect. They're called Springle and the last one is called Lightning. So let's go through the sensory apps. Let's open the Lightbox app. To enter settings, swipe from the left side of the screen. Okay, so we have three options. Checkers, bouncing ball, or rotating colors. And below them, you can change the colors of all of them. For checkers, let's select it. Okay, tap on it. So checkers is a super high contrast image and it looks just like the checker overlay on a normal light box. To go back into the settings, swipe from the left. And now we can change the color as well of the checkerboard to yellow. Very high contrast, yellow and black. Red. Red and black is another really high contrast uh, pair of colors. Green. Looks really good. And back to white. Or you can hit done. Very nice. So, that's the first activity. The second one will be bouncing balls. So just following the ball, it changes speed and direction. Let's swipe from the left again. And just like the last activity with the checkerboard, you can change the colors. So let's do yellow. Blue. The blue one is pretty low contrast, but it's still good practice. It's like almost like a bubble. and green it doesn't do anything if you tap it it's just for watching Okay, next option is rotating colors. And this just kind of moves by itself. Okay, let's go back in and we can mix and match activities meaning we can use the checker board as well as the bouncing ball. 
also select the checkers and the bouncing ball. And now you see that you have the blue bouncing ball with the checkerboard background. You can also change the color of the background, but the ball stays the same color. On the red background, the ball actually looks more purple. Green. And back to white. We can also add the rotating colors and just see what it looks like. Or if you don't want to use the ball, you can unselect the bouncing ball and just have the checkerboard with rotating colors. Well, it's a very nice activity that's similar to some of the things we use on the normal light box. The next sensory app I want to go over is called Cosmic Spinner. So there's a few different controls on this. One is just to tap it once and it changes the color. And I tap it again and it goes back to the original color. Another control is to actually slow the spinner to a stop and all you do is hold down until it stops. And then you can release to have it spin again. Let's stop it. And start. control is to increase or decrease the size. Start by decreasing it by just pinching the fingers together. It's about as small as you can make it, pinching fingers apart. And together, apart. You can make it quite big. looks a lot different when you do that. Let's change the color. You can even make it bigger than that and see what happens. Looks very nice. Get a little bit smaller. Change the color. And let's go back to normal size. So other than that, those same controls are over here. So you can hit, click this little arrow. And I don't really like the way they have the controls on the right hand side, so I don't use them. The thing that I like to use on the control panel is the mute button. Because it can be a bit loud. The next app we're going to open is called Springle. And the direction is touch springle. Touch it more. 
more and it gets more interesting to look at. It kind of does its own thing after a while, but the more you touch it, the more interesting it looks. The last one I'm going to open is called Lightning. This one just starts out with a very basic image. And as you swipe it, it looks more interesting. There's some controls down here. You can control the number of particles, the particle length, particle size. Let's just try that, putting everything up to the maximum. So it looks quite different if you do that. It's called lightning.